What's up, everybody? This is Dark Masic with Brutally Delicious. Coming to the review of Zarya's brand new album, Tell the Wind. So this is a brand new band for me. Had never even heard the name before, let alone a single song. I did some metal archives digging and found out that the band is from Slovenia. For those of you familiar with Last.fm, there is an extension or actually a web app that lets you examine your library and creates a map of the world based on which countries are most represented in your music library. This is my first music ever from Slovenia. So the band is listed as symphonic folk metal. And we're going to talk a bit about that when we get into the songs. Female fronted, really good stuff, modern. So getting into some songs, the intro evokes some Dungeons and Dragons and kind of Twilight Force vibes. Good because the D&D movie was released like two days ago. Right off the bat, I definitely hear symphonic. That's what I wrote down in my notes here before checking Metal Archives. I don't hear a ton of folk in the opening tracks. We get to the first highlight track, Evermore. Here's a really good double bass track, nice, driving, energetic. We start to see some folk elements here. I think I hear a violin somewhere in there. That's definitely not popping up in your typical Nightwish album, for instance. Point being, the folk label is applicable. It's not straight symphonic. Moving on, we get to our first unpronounceable song title. I'm so sorry to anybody who listens to this and is native to whatever language this is. I'm going to try. Prek Meglik Preteklosti. This title is probably the most folk thing on the album. We start to get some flutes here, or some kind of wind instrument. I don't know, a fife or something? Great song, though. I don't know what language this is. It's a Slovenian even a language? Thanks to Wikipedia, I now know that it is. Moving on. Dream of a Frozen Dragon. There's a really nice opening to this one. It's beautiful. But when the song and or I guess the full band kicks in it, it's epic it's this really great track it's just got really nice and positive vibes to it I'm tempted to start using the label D and D metal it's hard to take that away from Rhapsody and Twilight Force but maybe this is just more of what you'd play when they're in a tavern instead of in a battle moving on we now come to what is I think the most memorable song in the album I had to reference the track list to get this order correct Track 9, called To Stealing, Cheating, Fighting, and Drinking. This is a really good pub song. Like, Kruikin would be so proud. Give this a few years and a lyric video, and I bet this could be up there with, like, Some Say the Devil is Dead. I'm aware that that's some kind of traditional Irish song, but on 70,000 Tons of Metal, when Kruikin played it 2020, everyone was fucking dancing in it. Like, I'm totally going to go back and listen to this at least five times in the upcoming week. Last but not least, the title track, Tell the Wind. A really good anthemic track, something that I think would close their live set really well. It just provides some sense of closure, even though there is some kind of narrative track that comes after it. So, all in all, really fun album. The only slight detraction is that some of the best songs are things that, even with lyrics, I couldn't sing along to. I think I had a similar reaction to Lamento Eroico by Rhapsody when I first heard it. That has lyrics in, I think it's Italian, maybe it's Latin. But that now stands as one of my favorite songs by the band, so I'll shut the fuck up and say, on a first listen, it's hard, but one day I'll probably get used to this. If the band hears this, I just gotta say, you nailed that pub song vibe. I don't know whether that's what you were going for, but be sure to do more of this on upcoming releases, because I will love it, and so will everyone else. Rock on.